The Composer and His Grief, uh, from Stockhausen to Johnny Cash. Now, my name is Klaas ten Holt. I'm a composer of contemporary music, and I've been working as a composer from piece to piece, from performance to performance, uh, commission to commission. I, so to say, led a life of music, composing and performing as a guitarist, um, listening to music, going to concerts, and um, teaching music as well. Now, I must say that I was shocked about 20 years ago when my own father, who was a great lover of jazz music, um, when he got the news that he had a a prosthetic cancer and was going to die from it, suddenly didn't want to listen to the music anymore that he had been enjoying so much for such a long time, nor any other music uh, as well. And he suddenly declared that he now found and knew that music was in fact the lowest form of the arts. Now this was not a very nice thing to say to me at that time, his only son, who was just starting his studies of composition and trying to make a living for himself as a composer uh, and a musician. It, it made me sad to hear him talk in, in, in such a way, but I couldn't really connect to it, and it, it never stopped me from listening to and enjoying the, uh, all the music I was being exposed to as a student. Now, a little over a year ago, my own wife, 
Bibian uh, and me were out of the blue. Uh, we, we, we were told that she had a pancreatic cancer and that her life expectancy was in fact less than a year from, uh, from that moment on. And, um, uh, well, we, 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 we couldn't believe uh, um, uh, what, what, what was happening to us. Um, the day before we received, so to say, her death sentence, we had actually been performing with our band, Emma Peel, in the little theater right across the street, somewhere from here. And um, it, it was a great evening, we, it was a great concert, and, and everything felt right. We were doing all the new material that we'd been rehearsing for the new album that we were going to make. And, well, Bibian was troubled a little by an ache she had in her stomach, but she had been having that, and, and well, we didn't think much of it. Actually, an echo had been made just that morning, and uh, we were going to have the result the next day, and... Um, well, we weren't too worried. We thought, well, that, that's can't, can't, nothing will show up. So, well, as you can imagine, we, we were shocked, d devastated. We, we couldn't believe what these doctors w were telling us. Uh, we were angry. What, what did they know with their bloody statistics? That, that was sort of the, the feeling that we had. But, um, well, at that point, we felt that, yeah, we had to do something, so, something... Um, we, we, we decided that we, from, from that point on, we only wanted to do the things that were really important to us, that had real meaning for us. And um, I guess that after maybe three days, sleepless nights, when we sort of landed again, a new phase of our lives uh, had started. And... Um, Suddenly, I realized that the music that I myself had been enjoying so much and listening to uh, all the time, music of Stockhausen and Stravinsky, whom I admired so much and, 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 and enjoyed listening to so much, suddenly didn't mean anything to me anymore. I, I just, I, I had no feeling with it. It was too cerebral, too... too uh, too distant, uh, n n n yeah, it, it had no meaning for me anymore. But what I did enjoy listening to were actually songs, uh, simple songs, just a th few chords, a good melody, good strong lyrics um, about, well, the, 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 the sort of the main themes in life like love, loss of love, death, loneliness, and we started listening to people like Johnny Cash and, and uh, Gillian Welsh and the likes of that. And then uh, Bibian and me uh, started writing songs in that fashion together. Um, uh, me on my guitar and Bibian was singing. And we started recording those songs together and making, filming ourselves while recording. Uh, really simple with our iBook camera or iPhone camera and putting these little films on YouTube. And um, now I must at this point uh, say that um, this is not at all meant as a, as a plead against modern art or modern music. That, that, that would be silly, of course. That's, that's not my intention at all. I'm just sort of trying to convey to you yeah, what, what happened to me and what happened to us. And, and um, um, so, so please don't get me wrong. Um, we, um, 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 Bibian started writing, she had always wanted to write, but somehow never allowed herself to, to, to be a writer. But she started writing a blog on the internet and this led to a column in a newspaper and a magazine, which led to a book, which is, was being published, Panique Spinnen, it's in all the shops now. Um, and uh, when she finally was too ill, to continue writing, I sort of took over and started my own blog on the internet, which also led to a column in Het Parole newspaper, and, and well, my book will be published uh, somewhere next year. Now, I don't really know um, why we did all this, why, but we, somehow it felt right, we had a sort of need to 
to, 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 to bring out and to, to, to tell to other people what was happening to us. But an, I mean, the terrible thing that was happening to us, but also somehow the strength it, it gave us and the enormous energy boost we, we got from, from this, this bad news. So we, that's why we um, uh, um, yeah, started to talk about this on the internet and the new, using the new easily accessible social, social media like you know, Facebook and, and Twitter. And um, um, let me see if I'm not forgetting something. Um, It was just the, the, the realization that um, all, all that matters f mattered for us is, is friends and family and, and doing what you think is important in life, and not ir in an irresponsible way, but with meaning and with, with passion. And for us, this was creating simple songs and simple stories with an equally co simple content like love, loss of love, Death, fear of death, and 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 loneliness, and uh, somehow I just wonder why it took us so long to realize. And uh, to conclude my talk, I would like to sing and play for you one of the last songs that Bibi and me uh, recorded together. Um, well, she's obviously not here anymore to sing, so I will. She's a better singer than I am, but I'll do my best. I think somebody should put some microphone and things with my guitar and I don't know. <laughs> This one is called Mercy. Children running in the playground, laughing loud, make me wonder why. All those happy loving couples holding hands. Watch my lover when he's sleeping Try to see if I'm still in his heart Tears fall on my empty pillow There's no end in once the crying starts My have mercy My heart can only break twice Stay in my sweet paradise Till rain falls on my face Washes tears away Cold, cold tears thought of losing all my loved ones made me weep when I could not sleep. But now it seems that my own leaving hurts as much, it cuts as deep. My have mercy, how many times can my aching heart break? I cry, have mercy, it's so much more 
than I can take. I cry, have mercy. I'm asleep and I don't want.